Come on. This is not what I had in mind. What's going on guys ghost here today we are back in snow runner now you're probably wondering where in the world is my wheel or anything like that and the camera and everything well i, I kind of took a couple of days off so I, I used up like all my reserve videos that i had so i didn't have time to put my uh my simulator because i actually have to set it up and everything and it's basically i'll record every video that I do with the simulator, then I take it down, I have to edit, and then I record other videos I don't use the simulator for. So it did take a while, so I do apologize. I will be bringing the simulator back in future videos because it's just a whole lot cooler. But today, we are in this beautiful, beautiful first gen Cummins. Now this thing, you can make it a flatbed, you can make it um, like a... Uh, like a wooden side bed of the truck you make it a dually non-dually you can do a regular truck bed with the dually there's a ton of options on this truck but i was like i really want a flatbed and we, it only holds 95 fuel or 98 liters of fuel that's the problem with a lot of these trucks they run out so much so i went ahead and got a scout fuel trailer and we're going to pull that with us until we get the trailer that we're going to hopefully rescue and then we'll just have to leave this behind and hopefully we'll make it to a gas station or whatever. But that's kind of the kind of the the plan. Now we are uh we're right here. We gotta go out on the site to do a couple of donuts. That's just, just how we have to do. But uh my goal is to go over here and get a lost service trailer. Or maybe over in here, I don't know, but looks like we're going to have to follow this road and uh, maybe go see where this is and hopefully work our way up there to get that trailer. Now, I would have went um, this way, but it's blocked. I need to finish that pipe mission and stuff, but what's that? Bags on ice. Huh. I don't know. I feel like we should ride up there and see what that is. What What is that? Is it show basically what it is if you click on it um let's see no apparently not okay we need to get i don't know why it always shows that right there like <laughs> i need to clear everything out no I'm, I'm not even on that map that's what gets me um let's see bags on ice is is it here uh, I don't even even see uh, bags on ice. That's what it was called. Yeah, bags on ice. Maybe am I overlooking it? Maybe I'm not. I mean, I don't know. But we're going to go try to get this trailer. So our goal is to go there. That's that's where we need to go. But I'm actually going to remove my marker because I need to kind of set a better marker. So I think we'll go here. Okay, I, I, I didn't even click that. Like, I clicked it. Apparently, it's telling me I need to get to, <laughs> go to a fuel station first. And then, hopefully, that's ice. And then there it is. Okay, so that's kind of our path. It's going to be a long journey. So, hopefully, we get there. Now apparently there's a road up here, but first I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do a little skid. Yeah. It's like this might be the slowest, like fast and furious drift ever. Yeah, there we go. Watch out now. The interior. Oh my god. Oh, that's camera. I thought the seats were sore. I was. I was like. That's cool. You know, the crazy thing is, this truck in real life has the same steering wheel. I mean, this truck, I have the same steering wheel in my truck in real life. Um, this is like a loader truck. It's got the electric windows. But look at that. We got the Mountain Dew with this. You can actually pick Dr. Pepper or Melly Allo. It's a pretty cool little truck mod. So make sure to check it out. It's at the. It's in the, like a little mods workshop. Just go to mods, 
at the main menu. I don't know how it does off-road. We're not locked or anything, so hopefully we make it. Yeah, we're not locked up. Nope, so we're two-wheel. But I don't want to damage it a lot, so that's your thing. Well, just take your time. Enjoy it. I love this truck. I, there's something about a flatbed. Like, I would never really need a flatbed in real life. Because, I mean, I don't really do any farming or anything like that or construction or anything. But, trucks just look so good with the flatbed for some reason. Oh, come on, baby. And, plus, I figured the dual wheels would help us. And, it's, <laughs> with the lift that we have, it's called lift lifted er towing. So, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit stronger in the back and won't, you know, uh, make it squat too much. So, hopefully that'll be pretty good. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Looks like it's going decent. Okay, I don't know. If we get some weight on, then we might have some trouble. But we're, we're still in two-wheel drive and we're not even locked. All right, uh, let's go to high, I mean low. Some of these trucks just do better if you leave them in low, but they go a little bit slower. But then the other ones, it's like, you know, it, it, first a second, first a second. And it seems like that's in every spin tires game. You can't, it, it's never, you know, really good. I like how it says gas. We'll gas up so we don't have to uh, use our actual, you know, little tank of fuel. I'm telling you what, if I could, I'd strap that sucker to the back of the flatbed <laughs> and we'd roll like that. All right, I'm gonna try to auto again. As long as it don't go first, second, first, or second, or something. That's a little right there. No wide vehicles. That's that's good to know. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Coming out. I think I might go ahead and. Oh, I can only do it once that. I was say I was gonna go ahead and lock it just so it won't sling us. Cause if you don't have diff lock on, whichever tire grabs, boy, it'll sling you that way. Now, okay, I was like, apparently we're going to get this way, but it says gas, so we're good. We're on the road again. We've been through here a couple of times. We are in the Alaska map. Into Alaska. Alaska. We are wide open now we'll stop get some fuel and then head out on our a little journey i'm spinning wheels here head out on our uh a little journey all right now our full tank okay we're good let's roll we're on the road again all right so don't look like i I don't look like we have that long ago. I actually got the ideal to put these markers uh, through like closer because I usually just put one on a map and just kind of work my way. But I was actually watching a live stream of uh, uh, Ace Pilot and he was putting a bunch of them. And I was like, that's actually smart to do. That way it takes me out the route I actually want to go and not just I have to guess, you know, which way to go and stuff. So big shout out. To him for actually uh, like doing that I was like hey that would be a good idea all right so we're gonna hopefully continue on out here I've been through this part before uh, I think it gets deep out that way but the old truck still doing good we're two wheel I jinxed it look at that truck just I feel like the truck just might be so heavy uh, be, it, we're just doing good I don't know I feel like I should uh, 
locking in. That sign says water over road. I don't even think there's a road under there. I'm pretty sure that's just a creek crossing. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure we're going to go ahead and go straight. Oh, yeah. Roll us some coal, baby. Mark. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you can do it. I believe I can burn some rubber. And just snow. Yeah, there we go. How'd you uh, lose all your tree and your tires? I did a burnout in the snow. It's freaking awesome. Made my tires go bald. There we go. I'm, I'm sure, you know, you do a burnout in the snow, you'll burn down to the pavement or whatever, but yeah. Uh, looks like a little icy road. Looks like I need to drift on it. Hold on now. Woo, yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, boy, I thought I was going Well, at least my trailer's doing more drift than anything. Oh, and there we get to a guardrail. That go, you stupid camera. Actually, really... Oh, wait, what that? I really like the, uh... Um... Like interior view of this truck but it's like I like the interior view I like the mirrors working but it's like I hate it because I can't see my tire spin that's my whole thing I want to see some you know tires spinning and flipping out mud now I do like this view I think that's pretty good of a view as I stop to look outside because if I don't I'll end up hitting something like there'll be like a gigantic boulder that falls it's not a rock. It's a boulder. Uh-oh. Let me go ahead. Are we spinning now? Let me see. Spinning ain't winning. Oh. All right. I want to go ahead and just lock her in four wheel. Oh, boy. We are a poor trailer, so... That does, and we're actually making a set of, you know, extra tracks because, you know, we are running a dually. My cousin, he has a dually. Well, he used to have a dually, and, uh, you know, everybody on the mountain, he was, like, really the only one to have a dually, and, you know, it's full of driving stuff, but when he'd come out in wintertime, you know, he would have to make an extra set of tracks on each side, and every time he'd end up, like, going over in a ditch or something because it would just, like, pull him that way. I still like to have a dually though. Mine's just a single axle, but or something about a dually. But I live on like a one lane road. A really tight one lane road with bi directional traffic, so you have to back up for the other person. And you have to honk your horn going around a curve. I know it sounds stupid, but it's actually it's how you have to do it. And like there's only like one or two people up here that has dullies now. Because you know, it's just, it's so tight. So if you meet another truck with a dually, like, you got to do some maneuvering and try to get around each other. Me, I just got tow mirrors. I just flop them in and keep on rolling. All right. Let's go. Hit second. Oh, we're at third. Rolling a little bit of coal. This is the place where I said, I hope they have, I hope it's frozen. I'm going to go ahead, lock it in low. Looks like we're probably going to have to go around this way. Is I think that might be ice, but I don't want to... Well, around the edges, it ain't ice straight across, but I don't want to kind of jinx it or anything. We're only at 80 liters, but we did fill up, so that's a whole thing there. And I don't know why I still say I have the job Motel Woos. That's literally on a whole different map. That was like the first job I ever started. May or may or not have finished it. I, I didn't even make it out of the parking lot. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. Come on. I could actually lock this thing in. Oh, yeah. But see, we gotta make a little bit wider track. It's like the front tire does good, and then the rear is like, let me make it a little bit wider. And the trailer is like, I'll just drag on everything. 
Come on. Come on now. Come on, Nelly. Get that heat going up in here. Oh, look at that. We got, we got like gold rings on and everything. Oh, man. We a baller up in here. We, just, we still can't pour the chrome hubcaps, though. We got those painted, like, uh, old painted steelies. I don't even think those, yeah, those are steelies. They don't even, I don't even think they're aluminum. And you can't really get any fancy looking, like, rim, dually rims and tires. I got a set that's black, a set that's like this, like, rusty style, and I think a set that's like, I think it's like white, rusty, or, or gr like a dark charcoal gray. So it's like you can't even put no forces or anything on here. That's why I love because this is like, this is the truck that you see back here with the chainsaw cutting some wood. It's not like I heard a tree crack. Cutting some wood and just, just throwing it on the back of it. No problem. No going to shows. No mall crawling. Just straight workhorse. And then about, you know, about 15 years later, somebody comes and buys it and throws American Forces on. <laughs> That's like the history of every first gen almost. That's like the history of every old diesel truck. Alright. We can do this. Just keep swimming. It actually ain't that deep. I don't think we've had too much trouble, but let me knock on my fake wood grain. We haven't had that much trouble. Look at that. Tell me that just don't look cool back there. I tell you, games are getting so realistic nowadays. Like, if I could just be sitting here freezing and just, like, water slapping in my face. Which, I mean, you'd be good to go. I'm getting a fan with this, like, squirt bottle. on. just, Oh, well, yeah. Oh, frame, dudes. Not really. I'd rather go. <laughs> really do that in real life. All right, auto. Come on, hit second. All right. Oh man, we're rolling coal. Listen, that twelve valve per. Oh yeah. I actually really like this truck. I just like the old school trucks. I, to be honest, I rather have old than new. or old with a little bit of new flavor. All right, so this is not the place. I don't even know where our other thing is. Wait a minute, I think. Yeah, where are we at? Hey, we're like, wow, we're here, really? Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and make it even again. I think we need to turn around. Is there like a... There, okay, so we need to go up on that mountain right there. And I'm thinking the best place to go is basically right there. I don't know why I have like 50 million of these. So we need to turn around, go back, and then just go up through here. Okay, that's that's my goal. That's my plan of attack. Let's try it. I'm gonna ahead and lock it in. I am in low. There we go. Like I love it when you lock it in low. You uh, you have to make sure it actually gets in low, or the diff lock won't kick on. So you have to actually move it a little bit. It reminds me of the older trucks. When you take it out full drive, you gotta hit reverse to get it to pop out. A lot of y'all gonna be like, what? Never heard of that. A lot of the old trucks, when you have four drive and you take it out full drive, it'd still be in full drive. You just have to like put it in reverse back up a little bit and then go frontwards, it'd be out of full drive. It wasn't of this like turn button stuff. I always like the, in the floor, like my uh, my truck now, it's in the floor. 
you just throw that sucker. You know, when you get stuck, you just sit there. You reach down and uh, pull back on that lever. Bam. You just never felt so more alive. You're like, we're going now. But when you pull back on that lever and you see all, I went backwards, all four, uh, all four wheels spinning and you ain't going nowhere, now you know you're screwed. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh boy, I about took out the rear. We about had a, only three wheels in the back because I about lost one. Somebody said you get flats on this game. I haven't got a flat yet, but I don't like, but I do bash the truck, but apparently not that hard. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in. There we go. Boy, I just found the muddiest spot ever. This is not what I had in mind. Let me go ahead and pull that out. Golly, it's like... I'm pretty sure they knew people was going to take this path. <laughs> that was not good. I did not think we was going to make it up that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hit high. Come on, baby. I wish I could bring this fuel trailer with me. I wish I could throw it all back in the truck. I should probably flatbed because I figured it'd be more legit pulling a trailer. But I'm hoping that this thing don't have. I'm hoping it's not a, like a uh, fifth wheel hitch trailer because if so, we're screwed. But I think it's bumper mount. I think a lot of the trailers here are like all bumper mount. That's a big trailer. And we are driving this thing like a freaking tank. Holy crap. We're going to have to find a better way down because we're going to flip that trailer if we go this way. What should be like a paved road <laughs> on the other side? Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. This thing's a freaking tank. As I say that, and I like slide down the hill okay that's cool thank you karma I do appreciate that there we go all right so this is going to be our trailer here we need to go ahead refuel Hey, we still got fuel with the flatbed, so we're good there. Okay, we're definitely good. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, this is where we depart the little trailer. And we hook up to, holy mother of goodness, look at the size of this thing. Oh, don't even turn over on me. Start tracking. Like, I swear, if I hooked up to this or, like, got near and it would, like, fall over, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Let's see. We're going to have to get this a little better. All right. Catch trailer. Oh, mother of goodness. All right. So, where are we going? Where's our journey take taking us? Apparently, it's... Is that where it wants us to go? Uh, yep. So, that's actually not that bad. And we actually get to uncover that little spot there. I need to get that tower there. So, we're going to try to go there. This has actually been a pretty little decent run. So, let's uh, try to keep... Oh, no, 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 no. That tower is like killing my view. Alright, um... This looks like the best route. And you know what? That factor's right there. And their trailer's up here and they had to get me to come get... They got some lazy workers. Because if I worked at a company, I'd be like, you give me the rest of the day off, I'll go up there and grab that thing for you. You pay for my diesel. We are going to hit a mud hole here. I feel like this is where we're going to sink. No. It's just ice. Okay.
Hey, we are dragging this thing like there's no tomorrow. Well, that's some wide road. <laughs> oh, okay, I was like, that's some wide railroad tracks there. Um, we're gonna have to go back out here on the road. So let's go back to the road. I'm hoping we don't get any of this mud here. That, cause I'm just waiting to hit some mud that just completely sinks us. This trailer looks like it's actually, it must be empty cause it's not that heavy. There's their wonderful turnaround spot. Go first view cause it's hard to see. Oh yeah. Hit second. Wide open. I'm just waiting to see that big thing back there just turn over. Gotta grab me. That got my dues muddy. Either that or somebody spits some chew in it. What the? That's why I can't have my things. It should be. Yeah. Take your time. It's like, boy, it's like they built their log thing right up on a mountain. Well, they built this down here. I'm hoping this don't try to bypass me. How about being down there in the valley? Well, this is actually pavement, so... I think, like, this is where it is. And it's like, yeah, we'll build us a longer thing at the end of this pavement. The roads in Alaska is not very good, apparently. I'm <laughs> trying to turn. All right, this is where we're going to be dropping a little trailer off. We made a little bit of money today. Just a little bit. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the punch that subscribe button. This is Ghost, and I will see you in the next one. Boy, I love this truck. This thing just, woohoo, America. Yeah, baby. That's just, I'm just going to go just cruise the roads again and drink the rest of my chew dude. <laughs>